What is going on guys, Ron Man coming back at you, and today I'm going to review The Wizard of Oz for Super Nintendo. Also, if you're new here and you like my content, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, as well as that bell notification so you stay up to date with Ron Man Gaming. The Wizard of Oz is one of those games that I first learned about through the angry video game nerd. It seemed like such a crappy game that I just had to try it out for myself. I always kept an eye out for it while game hunting, but as the years would pass, I never did manage to find a copy of it until now. Now, I paid $25 for this cartridge, and I don't really know how rare it is, but like, it seems pretty uncommon, like I never see it. The Wizard of Oz was developed by Manly & Associates and published by SETA Corporation for the Super Nintendo in 1993. You start the game out by playing as Dorothy, but later on you can play as a Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and of course the Cowardly Lion. The Wizard of Oz is a side-scrolling platformer with some puzzle elements thrown in. The story is the same as the 1939 film, which in a nutshell is that you take the ruby slippers to the Emerald City. Now this game is most well known for being a stinking pile of shit, and uh, it really is. I think this might be one of the worst games I've ever played. But before we get to why this game is so bad, I guess first I'll talk about what this game does well. I admit, the graphics are not too bad. Honestly, if I was aware of this game back when it had come out, it absolutely would have been a game that I would have asked for for my birthday or Christmas. I was always drawn to games with nice colorful graphics, and The Wizard of Oz looks great with a generous use of blues and greens. Even the cover art looks great. You have all the main characters characters, the Wicked Witch of the West, Glinda, the Witch of the North, and even the Emerald City along with the Yellow Brick Road. For squeezing so much into one small picture, they sure did a good job. Also, some of the music is not bad. There are plenty of familiar tracks like Over the Rainbow, We're Off to See the Wizard, and If I Only Had a Brain. Sadly, that's where the positives end for this game. Now, if you've watched other reviews on this game, a lot of what I'm about to say is gonna sound familiar. So I'll ask that you please forgive me, I'm really not trying to plagiarize anyone. As I said, this is an action platformer with some puzzle elements. Basically, you just need to make it to the end of each level while collecting bricks. There are a handful of levels in each world, and at the end of the world, the bricks you've collected will make a bridge connecting to the next world. First off, this game is brutally difficult. It doesn't start out too hard, but just a few levels in, you'll be dealing with tons of stuff trying to kill you, and you just don't have the means to deal with it all. It's not like enemies are placed strategically or anything like that. Enemies are just everywhere. I mean, look at this. You're constantly constantly taking damage. As Dorothy, the only means you have to defend yourself is a kick or items that you can throw. Your throwable items are limited, and this game doesn't even have the courtesy to tell you how much ammo you have left. When it comes to the level design, it is absolutely atrocious. Okay, so here's a barn. When I walked through the front door, I was suddenly placed in the middle of the barn. Generally speaking, you go from left to right, so I figured I just needed to walk over here to the right to get out. But wait, wasn't I just here? Yeah, it's the door I walked through. So here's the problem. Any Anytime you walk into a room or a structure, you're just placed in the middle of that room or structure. It is so confusing. Why can't you place me in front of the door I came through? You know, so I have a better sense of where I'm going. Anyway, so I go back in and I can't figure out what the point of this barn is. I can see something up there, but I can't figure out what to do. And honestly, I give the lowest amount of fuck humanly possible. Hey, wait a minute. You're not giving up that easy, are you, Ron Man? Wait, how did you get here? Dude, your dad gave me an extra key. Oh, okay. See, Ron, you could have figured out exactly what to do in that barn if you only had a brain. Well, uh, uh, I'm working on it. So you actually need those flying shoes to get up to the higher part of the barn? And those saw blades? You can just kick them. You can kill them, man. Okay, so you can kick a saw blade? Who would have guessed that? It seems like the people who made this game were in need of some brains. Can you blame me for not assuming that you can kick a spinning saw blade, ruby slippers or not? <laughs> fucking game, man. I fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god. Another huge problem with this piece of crap is the fact that, for the most part, you can't tell what's a platform and what isn't. Like, in this level, I can't tell which parts of these trees are platforms. Also, you can fall through platforms if you don't jump on them good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh I, I have no patience for this kind of level design. 
Throughout the game, you'll come across the other main characters. You can also play as the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Lion, like I had already mentioned. You know, I thought these graphics were decent at first, but I think these characters look like garbage. They all seem to play a little differently than Dorothy, like how the Tin Man can't jump, but overall they don't seem to add a whole lot to the experience, but at least you can switch between them at any point in time, and they all have their own life meters. You know, recruiting a new playable character typically should be an exciting experience. But in this game, it's more like a, oh, now I have to manage more things? Oh, no thanks. It's not exactly what I would consider the mark of good game design, but are you surprised? <laughs> no. Throughout the stages, you'll find mini games to play. Well, at least there's some variety. Sometimes you have to figure out the phrase or do the math. Fun, right? Even the lemons look pissed off. It's actually how I looked every time I got a game over. See, the game kicks you back out to the main menu, and to continue where you were, you have to enter this huge-ass 24-character password every time you get a game over. Man, what a cute little way to give you the middle finger one last time before you shut this game off forever. Okay, guys, I, I, I'm i sorry, but I'm just, I'm done with this game. It's too hard, it's too shitty, and the fun factor is non-existent. I'm not willing to put the practice in to beat this game. I'm also not willing to punch in a 24-character password word every five minutes. It's just not worth it. I've never had so little fun in my life. Like I have more fun playing Action 52. Yes, I have more fun playing Action 52 than The Wizard of Oz for Super Nintendo. So that's it. I, I'm done. I, I refuse to play this game any longer. I, I choose to never beat this game. You can't even beat Wizard of Oz. You know why? It's because you don't have enough courage or heart. Yeah? Well, uh, why don't you show me how it's done? Why don't you record a long play and upload that to your channel? Who, me? Oh, uh, actually, I gotta go let myself into Retro Reminiscence's house. Yeah, that's what I thought. I guess it's kind of a good thing that they didn't name this game after the original novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. In case you couldn't tell, it ain't wonderful. Hey, check this out. At the back of the manual, they show off some Wizard of Oz collectibles. I wonder who, if anyone, bought that Emerald City for 830 US dollars. And that was back in 1993, holy shit. Anyway guys, I'm really sorry I didn't go more in depth with this review. I just had such a rotten time playing this that I couldn't bear to keep playing. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to send out a special thank you to Jay the NES Addict for helping me with this. And thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video. You can't even beat Wizard of the Oz. Wizard of the Oz. What the fuck?